Hello, I'm Jonas and right now we're inside my workshop at CERN, home of the Large Hadron Collider. Hadron Collider is uh, the world's largest circular particle accelerator. We have four experiments where the particles collide together and create physics experiments to study the foundation of the universe. Uh, we use 3D printing for testing uh, prototypes, but also sometimes for uh, products we put inside the tunnels uh, in the LHC. Hello, my name is Tina. I'm a structural engineer from uh, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology in Norway. I'm responsible for um, all the prototyping activities here at IdeaSquare. IdeaSquare is the innovation space at CERN and it aims to connect society with science. And it does that through mainly hosting student programs. And the students, they come here and they collaborate and experiment and also think exponentially, much like the physicists at CERN. So I'm a mechatronics engineer uh, working in the beams department in the uh, geometrology group and in the high precision alignment technologies uh, we work on the alignment of the Large Hadron Collider because at each experiment, on each side, there are two straight sections of 200 meters each. We have to align to make sure that the particles hit each other as uh, much as possible. And we work on making sensors and systems and actuators and control systems in order to measure and move the large magnets uh, so we can align it as best as possible. I, I use 3D printing to uh, initially visualize or see the function of some of my prototypes and also for testing purposes before we make a more expensive part. Um, and on some occasions I use it to even make the final model and to test and further put in the final product. So one example of what I've made is uh, a bead for uh, transporting a very fragile wire through the whole section of 200 meters. Uh, we use this wire to measure uh, the distance on all the components so we can align them. Uh, and this bead uh, needs to transport it through this tube without damaging this very fragile uh, wire. And uh, it's very complex, so we have to 3D print it. Uh, and I've worked on it a long time, uh, making different iterations with 3D prints. And now we came to the final model and we can get it made in a radiation hard material. So in addition to having the large hydron collider that's 100 meters underground, we have multiple particle accelerators. One of the particle accelerators we have is CLEAR, which is a linear electron accelerator. And uh, one of the experiments at CLEAR researches how to kill cancer cells, but at the same time sparing the healthy tissue. One of the challenges in this experiment was that the samples of the cells had to be switched after being irradiated. At CLEAR, they developed a robot to change the samples automatically uh, without having to stop the beam. The robot has 32 sample holders that it can change automatically without having to stop the beam, which saves time. The sample holders are 3D printed with the Prusa printers here at Idea Square. So another collaboration was building a liquid sample dispensing system with Vito at Isolda. They use nuclear magnetic resonance on unstable nuclei to study the interaction between metal ions and biomolecules. The biological samples are hosted by a liquid and having a liquid in high vacuum is a challenge. Opening and venting the beam line is time consuming. To fix this problem, they invented a spoon to hold the droplet and they printed a 0.8 millimeter capillary, which makes it possible to remove the sample and uh, get a fresh new sample. All of this can be done without stopping the beam. To get this accuracy, we printed the parts with the Prusa SL1. I first started 3D printing 
back in gymnasium, which on international level, I guess you would call it senior high school, where I went to a technical gymnasium. Uh, I started learning to 3D print and using 3D prints in products. And then later I continued on university with 3D printing and I bought my own 3D printer. Uh, now at CERN I use it to test my prototypes and uh, make final versions. I help other sections make 3D prints and uh, to help their processes as well, such as uh, with the fiber optics. We have a lot of fiber optics at CERN in all our equipment. So uh, these fiber optics have very fragile uh, fibers that needs to be coiled off and spared from cracking. So we use 3D prints to, uh, to hold those fibers in place. I started 3D printing during my master's thesis at university and it was really exciting to see how your ideas and designs could turn into reality. The possibilities that 3D printing brings in collaboration with CERN is invaluable. It gives scientists freedom to build prototypes rapidly and they can much faster explore new territory within physics. For the student prototypes, we usually use PLA because it's easy to print with and it's cheap. But if we need prototypes that are in radiation zones, we have to use a bit stronger plastics such as ASA, for example. My work without 3D printing would be possible but it would be very uh, slow um, as I would have to make all my prototypes with uh, metal or other components. With a 3D printer I can just quickly throw it on for a few euros and see if it works or not.